chapter number three, marketing and sales. So last time we have uh, completed the topic um, uh, product and uh, services, in which we have uh, seen that uh, product uh, they are uh, tangible in nature and they can be stored. It has physical uh, shape and size, and they they can be moved from one place to another place. So like a car. A motorbike, a book, a pen, the product. So they can be stored for the future, future also. So services which are intangible in nature, so and has no cannot be stored for the future. So um, we can just feel only just in case of services. So for example, other services are a repairing center, a beauty parlor, so banking, warehousing. So they provide services. So anyway, either product or the services, uh, money is to be paid for that, which is called as in price. So now today we are going to learn the topic pricing. Pricing. We are going to the price meaning of pricing. Pricing. Pricing, the term price. Price means the worth of the product, which is termed in monetary value, which is which can which can be understood in a monetary value. So the this is a product pen. And the pen when we Express in terms of monetary value, we say the, it is 20 rupees. Price, price is 20 rupees. The monetary value of this pen is 20 rupees. So that is called some price. So price is the monetary value of any product. So in a business, the pricing is very important. Price, pricing, the term pricing means to express the product into the monetary value is known as pricing. So the pricing uh, that includes the cost of the raw material, the transportation cost, the expenses incurred in that uh, product. So that's expressed in terms of monetary value. So price is the exchange, uh, more medium of exchange. So which is expressed in terms of monetary monetary value. So, that is called as a price. Without price, no product can be brought into the market. So with the help of the price only, the producer, the businessman can recover his expenses including that product and, and can earn his profit from that price. So price includes the cost plus the profit of the manufacturers. And then what we say that price is uh, price is the cost of the producer plus his profit that is called as a price. So go to the topic, you will understand what is the meaning of a price. So after that, uh, what are the objectives of price? So if you see the objectives, objectives of pricing. Objective pricing, number one, target, target rate of return. Target rate of returns, the producer always wants to earn some profit. He always put his profit in the price because he has invested in his business and he expects some rate of return. Rate, rate of return is a profit. How much profit he wants? Suppose to produce a pain, the cost. Uh, the cost of the pen is 100, it's the cost of the production is 100 and he add 10% profit on that, 100, 10% profit, he expect 10 percentage, 10 percent means 10 rupees, 110 will be the price of the product. So that is the target rate of return is 110, huh? the 10 rupees is his profit, that is his target rate of return and 110 is the uh, price of the product and his cost is rupees 100 
and his expected benefit is 10% on his uh, capital invested employed in that product. So that is the target rate of uh, return. So return is a, how a, always a pro, uh, producer or manufacturers has some target and how much percentage he expects from the uh, capital he has invested in the business that is profit. So without profit no business, no manufacturers produce the product. He always add his percentage of return, how much he expects from the capital he has in, invested in the business which is called as a rate of return. So that is called profit. So he has always, uh, he has a target how much, uh, profit, how much is his uh, target to earn the profit from that product. So that is the target. So before a pricing is done, so always a producer uh, expects some uh, target of return from that particular investment in that particular product. So next we have uh, price stability. Price stability. So price stability means that neither stability means neither to, neither neither price should be kept in such a way because it's the cutthroat competition in the market. So price should not be very high also. Price should not be very down also. If price is very high, the producer or manufacturer cannot compete in the market. They they may not able to. Uh, challenge the other producer, other businessman. If the price is very down again, the, the firm, the manufacturer may not earn his target rate of return. So price should be maintained in such a way, the pricing helps to uh, keep the price in such a way that it will, it will be consistent in the market. So neither it will be too high nor, nor it will come down. So that helps to maintain the price in the same level. So that is a price stability. So, that will help also help to avoid the price war in the market. The producer before before fixing the price, he will see all the all the factors, all the uh, other factors are there. Uh, so he will see all market features. So he will also see the cost of his product. So that he keep the price in such a way that there will be no price war in the market. So after after the price, he can cannot increase also, he cannot decrease also. So he is keeping in such a way that there will be no price war in the market. So he is keeping 10, another cannot keep in uh, again uh, 9, again another will keep in 8, not like that. He, he will keep in such a price that no producer can either uh, decrease the product to sell the same type of product. So this is the price stability. Market share. Market share. So market share to increase the size of the market, the producer always, the manager always wants to sell his product in the, into the, his, his sale, he wants to increase the horizon of his sale. So that, the sale can increase only if he maintain his price level properly. He has to satisfy the consumer with the price so that the, the, the price he has uh, kept for the certain product, the, the consumers are satisfied so that he can increase the uh, number of buyers, the producer can increase the number of buyers so the, uh, he can capture more and more market. If he has a reasonable, he kept the pricing is correct, so he can increase the size of the market. So this is, after that, meet or prevent competition, prevent competition. So prevent competition, so there are so many producers in the market producing the same type of product. So if businessman has to face the challenges, combat different type of uh, challenges from, from the different businessman. So if he, if the price of the manufacturer producer is very high than the other competition, so he, he may not ever to uh, uh, challenge the competition, so he will be out, out of the market, he cannot sell his um, product in the market. So in order to uh, combat this challenge, in order to challenge, in order to uh, capture the market or in order to meet the competition, he has to keep his price in such a way that no other producer, no other producers can challenge his product, his price. So in order to meet the competition, the producer has to keep the price in such a way that he can easily face the challenge 
other competitors. So this is uh, to meet the competition and also profit maximization. So profit maximization. So profit maximization also farm always wants to earn the profit. So more he keep the price more he has on the farm. But he should not uh, decrease the price in such a way that then the farm cannot earn the profit. Profit has to, price has to be kept in such a way that the farm enables to earn a profit from the sale of his product. So uh, it always farm try to um, earn the um, earn as much as possible. No farm, um, some some farm may earn at a time a lot or some farm may want to earn small but regularly. There are different type of businessmen. Some businessmen they keep the price in such a way that they want to earn profit at time. But some farm they they want to earn profit, little profit, but for consistency there. So what is the objective? They some business farm they want to sell the product less product and earn more pro, more profit. But but some farm they want to earn less profit but continuously. So this is so due to the high profit, a new entrepreneur may be attracted into the industry and price will come down in the long run. So here, due to the high, due to the high profit, many industries, many entrepreneurs may come in the business. Okay, but afterwards, the price in the way it will capture the industry, and price afterwards, the price will come down later on. So anyway, uh, this is the pricing. So this here will complete the chapter pricing. I will be giving you the notes also. Please complete the notes, and this is the end of the chapter pricing. So thank you.